Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly reading for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the week of April 3rd through the 9th. Thank you guys so much for being here. Let's tap into your weekly energy. What do we have going on for you? Beautiful. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. King of Cups. Oh, two of them. What? With the uh, Two of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. Um, definitely feel like a very strong emotional connection here. Strong, stable union. Uh, this is, you know, working things out, reconciling, fixing things between a partnership, uh, an outpouring of love, um, letting each other know just exactly how much they mean to each other, a uh, sense of wanting to bring love and stability into this connection and not allowing anything to stand in your way. I do feel like this has been a long time coming. Beautiful new beginnings in this relationship. I do feel like for some of you, um, if there's been, um, you know, ups and downs off and on, uh, you know, with this connection, wanting to bring some sort of stability, I do feel like there is uh, a sense of relief is what I'm hearing. A sense of relief and emotional relief and um I know this is going to sound weird, but I just feel like like somebody here feels a sense of uh, emotional relief where um, they haven't had any fights. They haven't had any disagreements. Um, everyone's been on their best behavior is how I heard it. But I definitely feel as though this has been a long time coming, right? I even feel like this is two people so in love, so in tune with their emotions. But there's, it, it feels like it's been a long road to get here, right? It feels like there's been a, a very long road to get here. Uh, wanting to have a sense of stability, financial stability, being able to match this person's, you know, finances or effort or whatnot, uh, or this is how they may feel about bringing it to you, wanting to bring you a sense of stability, wanting to be able to hit that big reset button with you, right? Wanting to be able to create the life you want, you know, the, the life that you've dreamed of. I feel like this is... This week, you're getting a, a clear indication that this connection, this relationship is definitely moving forward in a positive way. That is your card, okay? Um, Sagittarius, this is, you know, King of Wands to me is Sagittarian energy. Um, King and Queen of Cups, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I mean, we've got everything here but air. You know, we've got Aries and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Look at that. I'm telling you, this, you know, type of happiness happily ever after has been a long time coming. Whatever you're doing, you know, keep on doing whatever has been working. You've got to continue working towards, you know, building and rebuilding and continuously growing this connection. I do feel like there have been some heavy burdens for you in the past. And although some of you may be worried that this is just a fleeting moment of happiness, I feel like some of you are just waiting for like the other shoe to fall, right? Waiting for something to fall apart, waiting for somebody to snap, waiting for somebody. I, I just... I feel like there's a lot of love here for you, Sagittarius. Um, the question is, is are you open and willing to receiving? This is that energy that I was just describing, the hanged man of waiting for the other shoe to drop. Is at any moment this going to fall apart? Do I run with it? Do I feel safe and secure with it? See, I feel like the more you think about like this is a, this is too good to be true, it's not going to last, then you're just manifesting the heartache, the stagnancy, you know, the, you know, the not allowing this to unfold into what it is that you truly want for yourself, right? So what's the problem here? What are you so afraid of? What's the block here? 
the relationship not working out. Yeah, look at that. Ugh, I'm feeling like some of you, sorry I had to get that out. Some of you are just like, we're good one minute. And then I feel like I can't. And then I feel like like I like I'm always messing up, like I'm not appreciated, like I'm not loved, like the person that I'm dealing with feels like, you know, a false person, like they're happy go lucky, all in love with me one moment, and then the next moment they can't stand me. And I feel like they have you in this sense of despair, or you may have them in this energy of despair. There's a lot of emotional ups and downs. So again, I feel like um the main feeling I get is if if there is somebody here with emotional imbalances, uh, whatever it is that they're doing now to um, help heal that has helped your relationship tremendously, right? So if somebody does have these emotional imbalances or mental health issues that need medication for it, and no, I'm not a doctor, I'm just saying if they've already started on that path, you've noticed a significant difference. Your relationship feels a lot stronger. You're afraid though that one day they're gonna say, I don't wanna take this or I don't wanna be on this medication and you see nothing but good coming out of it and, and they're just... I feel like there's a part of them that likes the bad, right? And I just heard bad girls club for whatever reason. So that may be you or the person that you're dealing with, but I feel like they like the drama. I feel like they like to, um, you know, create these emotional ups and downs because it feels like a sense of control and manipulation and not in a good way. So I feel like there's this sense of good and evil within themselves. So I feel like there's this sense of bipolar uh, personality disorder that you may be dealing with, whether you or the other person, right? Wow. Um, the Fool, Three of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. It's like, is this, is this beautiful energy going to continue on? Is it going to move forward with us? Is it... Um, is it just only going to end up end ending, right? Is this only going to end up, um, you know, falling apart and going back to what we had before, right? One more card. Uh, that's what you're, that's exactly what you're afraid of because I'm hearing Sagittarius, it has already happened to you one too many times. Um, whatever is going on with your partner, maybe this is you, remember general reading, um, whether they're on medication, whether they've made lifestyle changes, whether they are seeking therapy, counseling, I just feel like there's this sense of healing uh, that has helped them, whether mind, body, soul, spirit, but I feel like you're enjoying the moment. However, you know that it's too good to be true to be long term, and you're you're again you're waiting for the other shoe to drop. And I feel like the way things are right now, they are so good. You are so like you feel like you're in in alignment with how things should be, but a part of you is afraid for that to end. Okay, now if you are single, no know that you do have somebody coming in offering you a very strong and stable commitment. But again, I feel like some of you have been through some tough relationships and connections that have, you know, put you through the ringer that when you come across a really good partner or a really good connection or someone who's, you know, stable enough to offer you everything that you're worthy and deserving of. Somebody who's loving and caring and stable and emotional and, you know, whatever it is that you want for yourself, fill in the blank. I feel like a part of you is like, this is too good to be true. You, you, it's so hard for you to accept or believe. And then it makes you feel like this person is fake. They're false. Um, they're lying to you. They're saying all the right things because they're just going to use me. They're just going to take advantage of me. They're just going to take my money. They're just going to mistreat me anyway. They're going to be like all the rest, right? 
but you're setting yourself up for that type of failure, okay? The more energy, you know, that you focus into it in that sense, the more you end up manifesting exactly what you are thinking is going to happen, okay? For one second, what would happen if things didn't fall apart? How would it be? How is it? that things are working out and continue with that energy. Wisdom of the Oracle to close this out. Yin energy. This is the energy of partnerships, of pouring into each other, self-love, self-care, really, really, you know, taking care of each other. It just feels like a very nurturing, loving, supportive energy. And I feel like you know that's what you need. You know that's what you've been trying to give to yourself. And then here comes somebody offering it to you. Here comes somebody pouring into you. And you're like, whoa, where is this coming from? Um, do you need to borrow money? Are you going to talk shit? Are you going to you know, mistreat me? Are you going to cheat on me? Um, it almost feels foreign to you when it's like that. I mean, you're loving every minute of it. Don't get me wrong. But again, it feels too good to be true. But with this card of serendipity... It's really talking about very much your wishes, dreams coming to fruition, right? Um, I do feel like there are things that you need to heal and move on from in order to be able to, to realize that you are deserving of all the good, all the love, everything that's in store for you. Okay, Sagittarius, I do see a very beautiful week ahead of you um, for this connection or being open, willing, and ready to receive this new connection. I do feel like you, some of you have just met somebody like this, and it does feel like it's too good to be true. Like you just want to be like, um, how many people are they talking to? And it's like you don't believe them. I don't believe that you're not talking to anybody else. I don't believe you're not dating anyone else. And you know, it again, it, it just feels like that energy of it's too good to be true. But if you keep saying that, and maybe I should stop saying it too, but if you keep saying that, and if you keep thinking that, then that's exactly what it will be. And what, what ends up happening is you just self-sabotage, you reaffirm what you're kind of afraid of. in in or, so just to kind of ease the pain uh, of you know, if and when things fall apart. But again, when things fall apart, it's not because they were always going to fall apart. It's that you just continue to manifest that energy to prove to yourself, aha, uh -huh, you see, they're all the same. They're all going to be that way. Of course, things are, you know, too good to be true. I'm not deserving. I'm not whatever. But that's not true, Sag. That is your weekly reading. I am sending you guys so much love. As always, remember to give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Double tap that bell to get notified of all the readings. I did go live a couple days ago, depending on when you catch this. I did go live, and if you missed it, so sorry that you did. Um, but if you'd like a personal reading, I will be posting the information down below. Let me know how this resonates. As always, your playlist is here. Whatever other readings I have for you here, have a great rest of the week. Take care. Bye.